In this video, we will see how instructions are executed on our 8-bit CPU. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry about the delay in posting this video. I was really busy with my work. So in this video, we are going to see how instruction is actually executed in our 8-bit CPU. So if you are new to the channel, I would, I would suggest you to go back and watch all the previous videos. This is ninth video in the series 8-bit CPU on FPGA. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and help me reach my 1000 subscriber goal by end of this year. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the last video, I explained to you uh, what all instructions are there in our 8-bit CPU. So now let's take a look at uh, how these instructions will be executed. So. Uh, uh, while instruct uh, while uh, executing any instructions there are basically three steps uh, first one is to fetch the instruction uh, so in this step instruction is actually brought from uh, memory to our uh, instruction register second one is to the increment programming uh, program counter so uh, by this step we make sure that uh, when our current instruction is executed uh, on next instruction will be fetched and executed and third one third step is to actually execute the instruction so uh, first two steps are common for all the instructions and third uh, third step like uh, execute step has uh, uh, multiple sub steps depending on which instruction be is being executed so uh, let's first see how the fetch and increment uh, program counter works so uh, to fetch any instruction into our uh, uh, instruction register uh, we have to know the address of that instruction so that address is given by program counter so uh, what we do first is load the value of our program counter into our memory address register so uh, the uh, memory address register will uh, point actually point to our next instruction and then um, we load the contents of memory to our instruction register so contents of memory uh, which is being pointed by our memory address register will be uh, copied into our uh, instruction register so uh, the second step is to increment program counter so uh, we have a control signal on our program counter uh, to enable it so uh, we will enable that uh, control signal only for one clock cycle so that uh, program counter will be incremented by one and it will point to our next instru instruction so these are the common steps for all of the instructions we have uh, i think six instructions in our uh, instruction set so uh, these two steps will be executed for every instruction and uh, uh, and then execute step uh, will be executed which has uh, multiple sub steps so first one is our uh, load accumulator so the uh, this instruction basically loads uh, content of memory to our accumulator that is a resistor so uh, first uh, first step in this instruction is uh, load address uh, which is specified in instruction register to our memory address register so say um, our instruction is lda 100 uh, like lda 0 100 so we will load 0 100 to our memory address register and then load the content of that memory location to our accumulator so we will generate uh, for each of these steps we will generate appropriate control signals <coughs> Similarly, for store accumulator, we first load the address uh, specified in instruction register to our memory address register and then store the contents of our uh, accumulator to uh, content, uh, to the memory. So control signals for this uh, step would be like uh, accumulator out uh, enable and then memory uh, write enable. So <coughs> 
this will put contents of a uh, register to the memory uh, next instruction is to add so uh, add is uh, add has more steps so first we have to uh, load address uh, specified in add to our memory address register then load the contents of memory into a b register because uh, our what our add instruction does is adds the content of memory to a register and then uh, stores the result into that a register itself so uh, we uh, whatever uh, memory location is given we will uh, load that memory location into b register first then perform the add operation uh, with the help of alu and then store the results of alu back into the a register so these five steps basically state that first we will uh, load the address into memory address register then load the contents of memory to our b register perform add operation by enabling our alu and uh, generating appropriate uh, uh, op like operation signal uh, like uh, yeah op code that is operation signal then we will disable alu then store the result of alu to our a register so this is uh, these are five sub steps in our uh, add so uh, add instruction will have total eight steps including the first uh, fetch program count uh, sorry seven steps so fetch increment program counter and five steps for the execution uh, next up is our uh, subtract instruction so uh, this is similar to add just uh, uh, the operation uh, opcode will change to sub so uh, control signal will uh, change like alu control signal will change for the operation and rest of the uh, five steps are same uh, next is jump instruction so uh, <laughs> this is very simple instruction so uh, what we uh, do in jump is whatever the address uh, specified by instruction register we will just put that into our program counter so we will uh, uh, load the program counter uh, we will uh, generate appropriate control signals to load the program counter with the value of instruction registers uh, lower four bits so that is jump uh, out out instruction this is used to output the contents of uh, memory location to our uh, output port so uh, we will load the address uh, in instruction register to a memory address register and then load the contents of memory into out register so this is again a very simple and halt instruction halt is used like we have these instructions to stop all the operations in our cpu so basically uh, i have <coughs> implemented it as a halt control signal which is uh, which uh, which also controls our clock so whenever uh, the halt control signal is set to logic high our clock will stop operating and hence our cpu uh, uh, hence our cpu will stop executing any of the instructions so there might be a better way to implement this but uh, yeah this is how i have implemented it for now so as you can see uh, each of these instructions has uh, some uh, sub steps so in our control unit uh, we will need a counter so each of these uh, step is called a micro code so to keep track uh, of which step to execute we need a counter so in the next video we will be building our control unit so at that time we will uh, <clears throat> build first build a counter and then we will generate uh, control signals according to what is the content of our instruction register and uh, at what uh, count we are so uh, counter will be used to keep track of which sub step in particular instruction we are executing so uh, we will take a look at that in next video so uh, this was our uh, part 1 of uh, you can say part 1 of our control unit um, this is how instruction is executed in uh, our cpu so this was a very uh, short and uh, simple video so in the next video we will take a look at con uh, actually build the control unit so that's it for this video thank you for watching this video and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you have any comments, please uh, uh, let me know uh, your suggestions and comments down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and help me reach my 1000 subscriber goal. Again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.